the lace gown, the crystal carriage. I'm bringing you the video you cannot see anywhere else of Mariah and Nick's Disneyland dream wedding. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Entertainment Tonight. You know, other shows wanted to go inside, but here's the ET difference. Nancy was the only journalist asked to witness the ceremony. Yeah, I went into the wee hours of the morning for this story, but what an honor to be there. And now I'm taking you to Disneyland with my special invitation. Mariah and her daughter Monroe, dressed up as princesses, riding down Disneyland's main street in a horse-drawn crystal carriage, ready to meet their Prince Charming's Nick and Little Moroccan. First of all, I just want to know the first reaction when you saw her, because I know our reaction when we saw her pull up and then It was carriage. very tale like, like oh my gosh. Very tale like I, when it meant to see her in there and in the Cinderella coach and then to see my daughter next to her it was it was amazing my, to see our baby our in baby. that carriage as she looks at the movies it goes makes her little you know yeah she just says her things they look at the movies and just being here was like bringing that to life yeah, for them. the fairy tale the twins celebrating their second birthday are dressed like mom and dad but get a little distracted as they walk down the aisle well as Walt Disney would say, for all of those who come to this happy place, welcome. As the officiant renewed the couple's vows, Little Rock just couldn't sit still. He finally got a very comforting pacifier. They could not be more adorable. Did you see how oh, they were ridiculously they cute? They sure, well, that's what kids that age, they're so adorable, tend to do. Do you believe in fairy tales was the theme. Everything was in white with blush colored accents. It's Mariah Carey, so you gotta have a little bling at the wedding. So how about this? Crystal chandeliers. Perfect for a princess. You got a sexy bride. I do. Uh-huh. I'm a lucky guy. Everybody on Twitter lets me know. I'm sure they do. How lucky I am. Although, you know, all the now, women love you too. Yeah, yes, they right. Do. Not like right, Mariah. Everyone Mariah. loves her though. But nobody loves him more than I love. Aww. Sir Nicholas Cannon. Fireworks. And with the Sleeping Beauty Castle as a backdrop. 250 of their closest friends watch as the couple seal their love with an explosive kiss. We were too close up. I'm pretty sure. No, nah, but we had were, that was our moment of. You had your own fireworks exactly. going on. Yes, we did. It was like that. You like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't even make We made that. fireworks. Uh -huh. That's yeah. right, exactly. <laughs> Mariah tossed her giant bouquet of white peonies and orchids before scooping up the kids and walking back down the aisle. <laughs> this was more, for me, this was a celebratory moment. Yes, and it was just fun and people we haven't seen in so Yeah, like, so many people came yeah, from all nice. over. They flew in. And, and just had time. fun. Nick DJed as well, right? And we shut Disneyland yes, down. Yes, yes. Did. I'm telling you, it was yeah. all about this. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a tradition for Mariah and Nick, as the couple has renewed their vows to one another every year since they first said I do in 2008. We yeah. both love Disneyland. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, you know, between Disneyland and Disney World, our favorite places to visit. Sometimes, Being kids, yeah. just fun, so having like, a good time. And then we were also... Not taking it so... Like, we take it seriously, but this was yeah. festive, is my word. In Hollywood, my gosh, what... Five years is like it's it's yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what have you guys loved the most about marriage and about each other? The friendship, the unconditional love. Yeah. We've been through so much in just the five years. I mean, even me last year being hospitalized and you know kids, but to be able to experience them with your best friend, to have a teammate in this game of life is amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I concur. You said, mm -hmm, yes. like we was in church. Mm -hmm. I did. No, I was listening. Look, she was like, amen to that. <laughs> but, 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 I mean, there are aspirations of a possible hey, hey. pastor, Bishop Nicholas <laughs> Bishop Cannon. Cannon. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mariah shared with me all the details about her dress. Mariah's dress was a princess-inspired bridal gown, and she knew from the very first minute she saw it that it was what she wanted. It was a strapless corseted bodice adorned with lace. Her skirt was layer upon layer of white chiffon that flowed in the evening breeze, but in planning their Cinderella theme ceremony, the couple had different views as to the color. Nick, please. 
Will you express that you wanted a blue dress? No, because really? in the cartoon, a dress. Cinderella, origin when Pirate she got to the hair. ball, she had the blue dress. But this dress. was the wedding. In the Disney classic, yep, Cinderella wears a blue gown to the ball where the prince falls in love with her. But as every little girl knows, Cinderella wore a white dress when she married the prince. But then at the, she corrected me at the end when it was oh. happily ever after she was in the white wedding It's all dress. about having a dress up moment and little Miss Monroe. Little Monroe's lookalike gown featured a tulle skirt and a high neckline embellished with silver sequins, while her mother's was a more dramatic sweetheart neckline that plunged, showing off her fabulous curves. Mariah wore jewels from her own collection, and her hair was adorned with a glamorous jeweled headpiece that completed her fantasy princess look. So a gorgeous princess. She had a little yeah. trouble keeping her dress up. That but happens. let me tell you, yeah, Mariah worked that dress. She looked beautiful. <laughs>